Hello, dear ones. It's Alice. I am of the stars. Last night, I found myself unexpectedly holding the sacred space for a man to clear his, his soul wounding, his tangles in his electromagnetic field due to some past experiences he had had. Um, with regard to uh, dislike of women, even hatred of women, very deep uh, uh, um, distortion of the light uh, regarding women. Representative, I think, of the, the peak of the Atlantean uh, like energy threads, the, um, the, the patriarchy that's been in place for a long time. So, so I was very surprised that that clearing took place, and it took, it seemed to me, a very long time, and I could sense it. I could sense the great beings, the celestial beings, and my own team uh, in the higher dimensions, holding the energy for me, holding the space, so that I could help in this transformation and and I will describe it to you a little bit. It's a, it's different from, but very much similar to, in some ways, a clearing that I had um, some years ago. I think 2012, uh, where uh, I I had been using language of light like therapy for clearing the distortions of the electromagnetic field, and I sensed the these tangles clearing in it they formed like a tornado or vortex around my body and cleared upwards they just sped upwards with incredible alacrity up high into the sky and disappeared and that was my first experience of actually knowing that soul clearing had taken place and then uh, more recently I sensed in a, a, a friend of mine who's a man I sensed a clearing taking place that that had to do with the same kind of audiovisual chips that are stored in, like it seems like in the body itself, in in some place in the body, but uh, actually they're in the electromagnetic field, and and when they peel off, it's like a little like video clip. You can see, you know, the scene. You can hear exactly verbatim what went on amongst various people, whether at the time you were conscious or not, it somehow got stuck in you. And the, you can sense the high emotion of the moment. And, and then you might even hear the aftermath, the denouement, and all the, you know, comments for, of other people later on. And just, it's, it's a lot like watching kind of a soap opera during a very dramatic event. But sure, lots of times. Uh, so the, the friend that I sensed some time ago, I think this year sometime, uh, had um, a past life experience that he was reliving and releasing. And that took a, a little while, but it was a similar process of, of the audiovisual clips being displayed and releasing in the, in the exact like memory of the event was recorded somewhere stuck, usually in the body, sometimes outside the body like space junk, you know, and sometimes just in the general hologram, could be far off in the hologram sometimes, if it's greatly repressed energy. And so in in this case it was it was you know, it was releasing from near the body in the electromagnetic field and then it was completely gone. Completely gone. This is this kind of clearing is instantaneous almost. It takes place usually, well in my case I had a lot to get rid of. There were several sessions and each one took half hour to an hour, hour and a half max. And so in the, in the case of my friend it didn't take that long, maybe half hour once. And, and then last night there was a situation that was very interesting. It was like a complete uh, um, reliving of an entire traumatic event that had occurred in the aftermath and and release of all that energy. And I felt it as a, uh, what do they call it, Claire, uh, kinesthete or Claire, 
metrics, I forget what you call it, when you feel and sense exactly what's going on in someone else's body for, for the sake of healing uh, like that, like remote healing. And so it was as if what was happening in his body was happening in mine. And I felt uh, it, it, the healing moving all around the body, little by little all around the body as the sounds uh, and, the, and the visuals were, were released from the electromagnetic magnetic field of the other person. And sometimes I would feel like, especially in this area here and around through here, it felt like little pinpricks of light releasing and, and, and uh, DNA popping open. It was this tiny little fine filigree effect of like lacy uh, um, uh, springing forth, springing forth of the energies from, from the repressed, like memories and the repressed feelings that had taken their toll on the physical and just, you know, gone and, and released into the beautiful body of light. It was terrific. It's really terrific. And however, for me, as, as like the physical vehicle of the celestial he healing agents, or one of them, because his team was also working on that, and other people were also assisting many as grounded expressions of their own celestial teams. And so, um, you know, for me, it was, it was uncomfortable. You know, I kept, I felt all kinds of unusual physical sensations. And, and I had to concentrate on the purely physical, because in instances like that, if you get carried away with the story that's going on, or even listen to the story, then the cells don't do their healing thing, their joyful cellular rejuvenation transformation thing. And the heart, heart's love needs to be concentrated on. The thing of it is, if we listen to people's traumatic stories that are releasing, then our own hearts might shut down. You know, because what's releasing is not joyful. And what, what we need to feel as healers, I feel, is joy during this time. Joy at the transformation that's taking place. So, though I retain no memory of the event that were released, nevertheless, I have... I had like um, an experience, a physical experience of ch of changes and pressure and release of pressure, and uh, it's like um, shifting, shifting of masses of energy throughout the top part of my body. Went on for a long time, and so. And so finally, and I, then after that, I didn't feel like sleeping at all. And a lot of things happened, concomitant or uh, entailed by that re huge release of like distortion of light. Um, I, it was just through one person, but a lot of other people were affected. And I could feel the, the dark that's here on Earth readjusting and moving like... It feels ominous, really, in the third and fourth dimensions. The movement of the dark, trying to balance back with the light. You'll, you know, if you've read my um, blogs regarding MAT and balance, M-A-A-T and balance. Or it might be M-A apostrophe A-T. That's how it's sometimes spelled. Uh, so... So after a huge release, and this was very huge, far more huge than the individual, then the dark, the shadow of the personality in, a, in many, many, many people begins to adjust. And it was shifting almost all night long, uh, shifting everywhere. And uh, I find it at times like that, because Halloween is tonight, I find at times like that, that it's it's important for us to be very careful with our children because children are more greatly affected by shifts of light and dark than we are and more um, likely to misunderstand the process. And so we need to teach them that this process is to be witnessed with a neutral mind and never to be acted on, you know. I, I feel for the children. It's, it's such a time of 
of atmospheric change and newospheric change. Uh, we have to shelter the children and keep them safe. That's my feeling. That was the first insight that I had with regard to this massive healing, which God be blessed. Uh, and the second thing has to do with something that happened just now, the next day. Uh, I was speaking on the, on the astral plane to others, and I found out that some women of my acquaintance had been set free from the, um, f the threads of energy of hatred that, that, uh, by men for women that have been coursing about and stewing about and bubbling around in the newosphere preparatory to being released lately. And so these people that I care about, that I know, and, and I as well, ha over the course of the last um, 12 hours, have, have, have been set free of those energies of intense hatred uh, that were the, you could say, the nadir, uh, the most poignant shadow of the Atlantean age. So, so I'm very thankful and, and I think it's, it's, it's good for me to, to learn this lesson that a little discomfort, you know, uh, even all night long discomfort is, is, is worth it because of, because of the good things that happen for everyone that el else that I know and for me afterwards. So I'm signing off. I'm wishing you all, well, I'm a safe Halloween. And, and a joyful All Saints Day, which is the next day. So, the release of the dark, followed by the great upsurge of the light.